Hey, hey guys, what's happening? Welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. Yeah, man. Hey, Dallas County Strasters, thank you. Very nice, very nice open to the show. Thank you, thank you so much, man. Appreciate that, big time. Uh, so just checking the audio, check, check, check. Audio, audio, audio. Audio, check, okay, looks good. Wow, what a fucking hunk of shit, like... Man, oh man, I've had so many issues with VMix tonight. Dude, like, I opened up the... I opened it up first, and, like, everything was gone. Like, everything... Like, I was able to fix it just right last 10 seconds. Uh, before, uh, we started streaming here, I was able to fix the audio, and, uh... But before that, I was having other issues, so... Man, oh man... What a trip, what a trip. Um, but yeah, I'm, damn. I don't understand why I'm having these issues. But hey, guys, uh, welcome, welcome. Man, oh man, thank you so much for the super chat. Dallas County Scratchers. Dude, I, uh, you didn't have to do that, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Uh, Studio Geek 32 is up in the house. We have uh, Konaman Studio. Fox, the cutest dog in the West. How could you forget a name like that? I mean, come on, right? Uh, and I think, I oh, Amos, dude. Amos is up in the house! Nice, nice! So, uh, I'm streaming at 8,000, 8 megabytes per second tonight. The reason being is I want to, to lower the latency. Uh, I want to test that, but tomorrow I'm getting a new uh, f uh, new fiber optic line put in the house, so I'll be uh, I'll have twice as much speed as I do now, and twice as much bandwidth as I have now. So. Um, it's the beginning stages of the fiber optics. They're installing the pure fiber, the gigabyte, right now. So I'll have a, I'll have a gigabyte soon. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited. Um, gonna have faster internet. So I'm gonna switch back to 10,000 uh, when they install that line, and I should be I should have good latency then. I was noticing I was a little bit like the latency was a little bit long. So um, I wanted to you know fix it, see if I could do better. So we'll do a test later on. But yeah, the title of the video is for, yeah, Kodama Studio, yeah, the Metal Studge Dunley. <laughs> so, how's everybody doing, man? Kodama, yeah, your last video was dope, man. Oh, thanks, buddy. I, yeah, man, no, I, I appreciate that a lot, man. For real, for real, man. Uh, that's cool. How's, uh, how's everybody doing? How's your, um, how's your lady friend, everybody, uh, doing? And sorry, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm all over the place, man. Day 29, Lita. Live every day in April. Um, yeah, one more day to go. One more day to go, and we got, uh, Lita in the bag, homies. Um, so tonight I'm going to be giving you guys a short lesson or I'm going to be doing a short little training on how the, like how we do, um, steel stud wall that, um, um, say you don't, you can't put the top track on first, right? Or say the top track is floating and you're like, how am I going to get the stand a wall up that's floating if it's on like a CMU wall or stone or concrete? There was a, a question that was asked in, oh, right. No, no, no. I, uh, I I almost swallowed my tongue after that. It was it was somebody else with um, um, oh god, you guys know um, you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, oh man, I got you guys, I got you mixed up. But yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, man. That, that I don't know, man. That could that could be a party too. I don't know, <laughs> right? Um, uh, man, oh man. But yo, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I, I really that's really nice, man. Um, so, let me see here, I'm all, I'm just like, wow, yeah, I'm just, uh, we've been live streaming every day for, since March 16th, so I'm gonna be taking, um, two days off, uh, tomorrow will be my last night, and I'm gonna take two days off, and then we'll be back on the Sunday morning schedule, and, uh, there'll be a lot more structure going forward, and, um, yeah, but, you know, we're always homies, we're always hanging out, so, if you guys ever have any questions, ask me, just... Just let it fly. Just let it fly. I was saying I had a, I had somebody asking me in the comments today in the video comments about the um, about like floating walls, right? So I'm like, hey, that's a good idea. I should just quickly write that down. Maybe he's watching. You never know. So um, gonna this is a quick little diagram, or whatever. Do that. But uh, yeah, Konaman's last video, the the pond was awesome. The or the 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 water, you know, for the lily lily pads, all whatever. That, that's gonna be cool, man. It looks great. 
it looks really really great uh so but yeah how's how's everything been going anyways for you guys um how do you hammer with no thumbs damn i, I would say like this like, <laughs> like this <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, so I know I was gonna say I wanted to get the DeLorean graphic done today, but I had to go back into Cinema 4D again. I was rendering this for six hours. Six hours. I rendered it out, and uh, and I was like, "Fuck!" You know, there's still like there's a couple things, and then I was like, "Damn!" I wanted to change something else. I'm like, "Oh, geez, I want it to be perfect." So of course I go back in. So this is the original one. Okay, so you see the palm trees. I was not happy with the palm trees, so I switched. I had to go back in and make some changes. So now the palm trees look deadly, deadly. Where's that button? Where's that button? Oh, come on here, man. Slow. Deadly. <laughs> it's deadly. Deadly. <laughs> right on, man. Super, super, super cool, man. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Where are we? Let's go back to here. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh my god! No! Oh, fuck me, man. Oh my god, dudes. I can't believe I just did that. Uh, how do you unclose, uh, if you close accident, oh, I guess I could close VMix and reopen it again without resaving, but, uh, how do you, um, uh, Studio Geek, can I, if I accidentally close an asset in VMix, can I open it again? Yeah, I got done and fucked up is what I did. Um, I, 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 I just deleted uh, my main scene, the big one with the, that was just on before the graphics, so, um, damn, what a mess, what a mess. What a mess. Uh, is there like an edit undo? Or something like that? Like, damn! Damn, Chris! Oh, man, oh man. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Please. Uh, oh well. There goes that. So, uh, let me see here. I can go, um... We can just do the camera. Wow, so sad, but kind of happy. Yeah, it does. Yeah, the DeLorean does not a time machine DeLorean, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to have to rebuild that whole scene, man. That whole scene, I'm going to have to rebuild it. Damn. Oh, yeah, you know what? Actually, no, I don't have to redo it, guys. I, all I have to do is um, I don't save this, right? I can just reopen the save to file. Uh, and it'll be back. So I'm just like, oh my god. Oh, jeez, man. That's just, um, yeah, it's just been one of them days. One of them streaming days, you know. Um, but we do got still everything else that is important. We got the uh, whiteboards. Callers. Man, we need some callers. We need to have... Uh, it will be better, yeah. I could always redo it, that is true, yeah. I, I love doing the graphics. Um, they just take, they take time. They do take time, it all takes time. There's just more, more things I want to do. Um, but yeah, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. That's awesome, man. Oh, you're, uh, I gotta move that over a little bit there, it looks like. Well, last subscriber is, well, that's a weird name. Uh, I don't know what language that is, so I can't give it a shout out, but um thanks for the subscribe and yeah well, there's always a solution right when you just call, i'm trying to teach my girls the same thing right don't react just think first just think before you react right <laughs> so oh uh, it, it, that is weird I, I wish you could i wish it would say like at least are you sure or something but yeah hey blt gamers what's up man uh like the thumbnail thanks dude i appreciate that thank you thank you Mm. Booty, 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 baby. BLT gamers, how's it going with you tonight? Whew. I guess we should start. Um, I guess maybe what I need is um, 
Oh, see, I can already tell the latency is, um, I'm definitely going to do the lead zoom party, yes. Uh, I emailed my statistics to um, David and Luria, uh, or to David, I sent my statistics to David on Discord, a DM, and he's going to share them with Luria because my, the stats this month are incredible. So, uh, after, because YouTube only counts 28 days, right? So, uh, let me just actually go back over here. I'm good. That's good to hear, man. That's good to hear. That is very good. So, going live in uh, the past 20 days, plus I, I started going live back in March and stuff too, but um, I'm seeing some really good results. The uh, views are up 31%, unique viewers up 25 impressions are up 53%. Um, percent. My CTR went down 7%, but impressions are up 53%. So, uh, yeah, you get you get that right. Watch time is up 58 percent. Uh, the average view duration up 21 percent. Um, average views per viewer up five percent. Uh, my subs are down 40 percent, but um, they're uh, but they're they're as, as usual. So I'm not getting I'm not gaining subs any faster. But the ones that are that are hanging around and coming and stuff like that are just are really awesome like they're you know like the uh really like steel stud guys things like that right so um and then of course all you beautiful people uh but it's it's weird it's just like um it's different right because uh uh it's uh, the way things have been going the engagement has changed right so but my revenue is up 109 percent Monetized playbacks are up 23%. So uh, people are they're not just watching my my live streams. It's it because the the my videos are being triggered more now, right? So and it all has to do with the titling of my streams. Okay, it all has to do with the titling. So it's pretty cool, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As soon as you stop the lives, uh, they'll go down the next. Well, no, I'm not gonna be stopping them. I'm gonna keep them up. I'm gonna stream five days a week. Uh, Sunday to Thursday. Um, I actually I had all, all, every intention of being a live cha live stream channel from the start. Uh, I just had to way to go, right? A ways to go, a bit to learn. And uh, we're building a, a studio in the back that um, uh, where we can do live actual trainings. Okay, where we're building stuff, doing stuff. Okay, I'm gonna build a shop in there, a shop studio, right? So we actually build stuff. So it's gonna be pretty rad. I'm, I'm very excited because that's coming this year. Last year, um, I was gonna start, but then we were like, yeah, you know, we decided to invest in, like I was saying, in, uh, camera equipment and stuff, right, instead. But yeah, dude, it sounds pretty cool. Yeah, cool, man. So <clears throat> it's a it's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty good uh, statistics, I think. So, uh, but yeah, it's been a lot of, a lot of work, lots of work. Um, man, oh man, yeah, Lita, uh, am I sad it's going to be over? No, no, not anymore. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm tired. I'm really beat. Uh, <laughs> do you still have any money for the studio? <laughs> Yeah, I still got money for the studio. I know, right? You, you, you wouldn't think it, but I do. We're good. <laughs> yeah, the nice thing about being a builder uh, is I actually have a lot of materials. Um, oh, man. Uh, right now, when I'm done my live stream, it takes like all night. To finish uploading like all night on and, and it's crazy um, at the beginning it was like normal it would take um, like an hour or two to upload but now it's taken like all night maybe it's time to go get the go XLR mini I don't know man I don't know I don't I don't know man I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna cave. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna cave. Not anytime soon. You know. Uh, it's too expensive for really what it does. You know. 
Yeah, I know you're not crazy. It is unusual, right? It's really unusual. I know. I know it's very unusual. I'm just getting one ready here, uh, uh, Amos. Uh, do I have TikTok? No. No, I, I watch TikTok. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, it, it's just too it's too expensive. I don't I, I don't think it's worth it for what it does. It's not worth it. Uh, the if I was gonna spend five hundred dollars on an audio device, it certainly isn't gonna be a Go XLR. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Hey, Joe Smith. What's up, man? Yeah, I'm having a great, great week. Hope you are as well, man. Who are we shouting out tonight, Joe? <laughs> hey, who are we shouting out tonight, Joe? Right on, baby. Right on. Oh, man. This is sticky. Sticky. It is not. It is not. Wait, whoa. It is not. So, oh yeah, I got the email for the lead of rap party. And it's tomorrow it's on Saturday. Uh, which is the worst time ever, possibly for it, but I'll go for a bit anyways. Uh, just to see what everyone's up to. I have a lot of stuff to do. Uh, this weekend, I, there's a, the People of Video conferences this weekend. So if you haven't got tickets, it's on um, peopleofvideo.com or something like that. It's through Dan uh, Courier at Creator Fundamentals. Um, yeah, there'll be. Well, yeah, like if I had 500 bucks, yeah, I I would pay, I would buy more yeah more channel <laughs> device with more channels. That's I'm already run I already ran out of channels. I already need more. Like <laughs> it's crazy, right? If you don't hear anything from me, I probably fell asleep. Oh, of course, Conan. Of course, yeah, slave driver, eh? She she pays you with love, Conan. She pays you with love. <laughs> Nice, nice, and I hope you're feeling bet uh, feeling good. That's good though to get out and get get shit done, and you know. Oh yeah, Mike Crotch is 60 today. All right, Joe Smith's uncle, Mike Crotch, is <laughs> 60 today. <laughs> oh man, I got a special one for that. Hold on, I got a special one for that one. Where is it? Uh-huh. <sighs> oh, I thought it was in here. It must be in here. Where did it go? Huh. Oh yeah, that's the one. So happy 60th birthday, Mike Crotch. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and, I, and I appreciate it, Joe. And I appreciate it. <laughs> right on, dude. Right on. That's cool, man. Oh, it's been a good month, though. Uh, good April. Oh, uh, man, oh, man. What a challenge, man. What a challenge. And to jump, to have jumped on it, uh, to, to have jumped on it, too, like, already a week or two into, or at least a, just over a week into streaming to start with, it was like, wow. So it's, uh, in the in the end, it's, gonna be at least five weeks of straight streaming right so oh man you're making me jealous man fox out awesome man uh, <laughs> making me jealous wanting to swim uh, borat's coming for a swim with you <laughs> yeah baby 
I agree, Studio Geek. Today was a long ass day. It really was. It really, really was. Man, that was nice. Uh, Dallas County Scratchers to pop in like that and super chat. You didn't have to do that. That's nice, man. That's nice. Who's the who the freak? Do you know who? I'm, you know who? I, I can't remember. It, not Dallas County, but um. Oh, who the heck were those? Any any um. Uh, he has another channel. Like he's a homeless guy or whatever. Right? He lives in a lives in a hotel with his wife. And he has the homeless channel and the scratchers channel. I, I forget uh, what the heck his other channel is. Darn it. And I know better. Leave a like, everybody. Right on, fucks. Love it. Like it, like it a lot. I love swimming. Water is my thing. You know, I'm a Pisces. I love water. I want to go swimming right now. I sure do miss the pool. Having the pool is always nice to have a pool. Ooh, yeah, baby. Cool. All right, we're gonna smoke this. Hey, Joe Smith is cool as hell. Hey, right on, man. Oh, I want to set up a new uh, setup with vMix so I can live stream all of my music videos live on YouTube. That could be fun. Yeah, that could be fun. Yeah. And someone <clears throat> and someone doing vMix for me. Yeah. <clears throat> I know. That would be wicked. That would be wicked. Um... I know. I'm trying to get. Uh, I'm trying to get this other guy to let me do VMix for him. But uh, yeah, we could experiment with that for sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I, I did that. That's too funny, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Really? That's weird. So that's messed up. Well, that's probably messed up because of the... Uh, he got Jams TV. Jams TV, uh, Jimmy Jams. I was, I was gonna see if we could do something yeah. like a, you know. But uh, man, and the time, right? Like the time it takes to, to do your own channel is really, really hard to. Hey, good night, Joe. Have a good night, man. Yeah, man. A look on the yeah that's weird don't you think oh I know why so if I go to yeah I can make that a little, little bigger a little little bigger uh he does have 30k yes And uh, another music-related uh, type channel, too. But yeah, Jams and uh, uh, Ant Team Smoke. Hey, man! What's up, Jason Reynolds, man? What's up, bro? <clears throat> Damn. Oh. How's it going, buddy? There it is. That's what I'm saying. Brody! Brody! <laughs> Brody! Hey, you new guy. 
yeah, you, I'm talking to you. Why don't you hit that subscribe button and say something in the chat, eh? I'm gonna have to, um, uh, turn it over <clears throat> to the other side, I think, man. How's the uh, picture look at 8,000? At, at 8,000? I changed the bit rate to 8,000. Cooking with cannabis? Cool. Cool, 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 man. Yeah, I know. I've seen it. I've seen that show, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty dope, man. Um, I started watching uh, Last Kingdom today. <laughs> I'm almost done uh, Black Lightning. <laughs> I love the black lightning, that's awesome. Oh, let's see what this looks like when I go... Oh, I just pushed the button. Oh yeah, it works. Start getting stoned before the... Yeah, 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 they do. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's awesome. Right, right on. Well, when um, Amos gets back, we'll uh, I'll hit the draw, hit up the drawing board. Dude, that's hilarious! I'm on. I'm just starting. Uh, I had to. I had. I got through episode one and two, and then I, I had to stop episode before episode three started so I could set the stream up. Man, I'm glad I came down an hour early to start the stream though, because holy cow, boys! I had errors, problems with uh, getting the stream set up today, from from the from the from seven o'clock to to twelve seconds before the the timer, my timer screen shut off, I, uh, uh, crazy. And then and then of course when I get into VMix, I delete the main scene. <laughs> so so cool. Um, I'm curious, like, I want to see where this goes, eh, Jason? I really want to see where that show goes, man. FBI, oh, shit! Just the cops, run! What are we doing? Let's get this party pumping. Yeah, baby. Uh-uh, nope. It's getting closer to midnight. I try to get closer to you. Holy cowboys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy cowboys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is funny. Bubs. Bubbles. Bubbles, Ricky. Yeah, Julian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Leahy. Fuck. Those guys are funny, man. I got any good, uh, let's see if they got any good house music. We're gonna find out, aren't we? All right. I don't have, I guess I don't really need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, did a whiteboard, I guess. <clears throat> then I gotta actually, I gotta totally redo scenes too. I 
what to do. I might have to go and actually go check on her. Cool, man. Uh, I guess I could jump here. There's Amos's shed, eh? <laughs> So, uh, what I wanted to talk about today is something that somebody asked in the, the comments today. So, I wanted to just kind of show you, Casey, I told him, I said, if I come by, I'll explain it too, but um, <clears throat> let's just say that oh, this is like uh, a block wall a concrete wall hey Amos <laughs> yeah nice bro perfect timing man <laughs> cool okay so uh, this is like concrete masonry unit or a block wall or whatever blah blah yeah you know what I'm not gonna draw the fucking thoughts. concrete is solid all right it could be like the blocks too you know or brick it could be brick <clears throat> so Let's say you want to frame a wall in front of this, which you do have to do a lot of time. The, the ways you can do it are, um, you got, you got hat channel like this, furring bar, okay? That you can sh uh, shoot or pin to right directly to the wall. But that's not very good because then um, there is no airspace for, um, uh, I don't know. They they like airspace for like condensate, like moisture and sa uh, I don't know colds. I don't know. They like they like to have a one inch airspace, so it's not the best way. But say you got a, a tight stairwell uh, and it's concrete and you want it drywall, this might be your only option. Okay. So the way we do it is we make uh, clips. Okay. You put your you put your bottom track first, okay? Put your bottom track, and then you're gonna uh, put a clip uh, two, maybe, depending on how high it is, a clip or two. Okay, I, I say you go every four feet. Damn it, it's out of focus again. <laughs> you fucker. And I, and, I even, and I even took uh, autofocus off and it's still doing it. Uh, okay, then what you're gonna do is, sometimes clips are like big or whatever, okay? You can shoot a laser line on the inside. On the, what the hell, why does it keep doing that? You can shoot a laser line on the inside part, okay? And mark it on the, on the clip. Or you can simply put the stud in too and, and and plumb it up, you know, with a level or something, okay? So it's gonna go like, let me see if I can make it look decent. <sighs> like this, okay? This is a big stud too, this is a huge stud, okay? Uh, but let's go to Uh, that's kind of stupid, isn't it? The, always make these clips a quarter inch back from the front lip of your stud, okay? And all you're gonna do is a uh, pin bolt or uh, shoot the, uh, the clip to the, to the brick. You can make a clip out of a piece of track, just bend it, okay? Um, you can make it out of stud, right? It's But it's gonna face the other way, right? It's gonna bend, you'll see when you're putting it in, it's gonna, gonna hook into the wall, right, into the stud, you'll see. 
You do this on one stud, uh, you do it on as many studs as you need, okay? But you gotta think, your tracks are 10 foot lengths, okay? So you draw out your centers on the bottom track, uh, 16, 32, 48. Uh, you go to the 112, okay? Which is the last stud before the 10 foot, and you put one there, okay? And you do the same thing, you clip it, and then, you put the top track on. Then, Last Kingdom, dude, yeah. Uh, we're, I, I watched the first two episodes today, Amos. Okay, a quarter, and not, not where the holes are, but you, some, you know, but you move it or whatever, fuck, jeez. So a quarter inch back from the front of stud. So that's like CMU, just pure concrete. Uh, it could be stone, brick, whatever, right? You get the idea. Um, and then, yeah, you set your top track on, right? <clears throat> if the uh, elevation of the top track matters, then set it properly. But say you need to uh, build a wall, okay? A wall, like a ceiling, sorry on the inside of it somewhere, okay? Like a ceiling. Right, you're just gonna build it inside. Um, but make sure you add enough at the top to, um, to, you know, to secure your ceiling, okay? Don't, if the ceiling's at 10 feet, don't put the, the studs at 10 feet, put them at 10 foot four, you know, 10 foot, six inches or something like that, right? 126 inches, we'll say. Something like that, you get the idea, right? Cause yeah, this will be, uh, this is kind of common. You know, this is a really common thing. Uh, you don't need to clip every single stud in the wall, okay? Uh, you can skip every second stud or you can stagger a, a clip. On every on every stud, you know what I mean. You just clip what's necessary. You don't. Uh, it, it depends on what you're hanging on it as well. But uh, the the specifications in your job will tell you. But if it's a home project, right? Then make it, be smart about it. Put clips every four feet, and um, uh, make it strong as you need it, right? Oh my God! There's four seasons already. Oh, I'm in trouble, man. I'm in trouble, so that's not even looking anywhere near me. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. What else is going to go wrong here? Yeah. Oh, man. I, tomorrow is the last day of Lita. Wow. Cray cray. Cray cray. Cray 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 cray. All right, whatever. Hunt the fox down, cool. Um, but yeah, that's that's what you do. You leave an inch, one inch of space between, you know, between the wall, the the, the 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 concrete and the your steel stud wall. Okay. Hey, what's up, Stinky? Just a second, guys, I'll be right back.
Darn it, sorry guys. Um, a fox got one of the ducks last night. That dumbass duck made a nest outside the fence. So, oh yeah. <laughs> Darn, the uh, little brat turned the light off too. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a floating wall. That's just that's just a, a wall you put clips in. I don't know if you guys have any questions. Let me know how to make the clips, whatever like that. Uh, I'll show you this. I can show you this too. Uh, physically cut the, the, the stud and show you. <clears throat> oh man, this is not cool. Oh, shite. Yeah. Well then. Oh, I got. Will it work? Yeah, baby, what a piece of shit! <laughs> Holy fuck, guys, this is awesome, man. Like, seriously, whatever can go wrong. <laughs> oh, what is going wrong tonight? <laughs> day 29, Lita, live every fucking day in April. <laughs> Jelly, man! Jelly! J Jelly, man! <laughs> oh, it's still working. It's still working? What? Oh, yeah. Well, screw you guys. I'm going home. Oh, cool, man. It's still working. I love it. I didn't know I, I could, it would still work if I didn't have um, the voice mod open. And the audio should be way better with it closed, too. So, how's it going, brother? Mmm. I want to show you guys uh, a Bailey Steel thing, the comp floor. 
uh, I saw a cool post on LinkedIn today, so I uh, wanted to show you this system here. <sighs> yeah, the, the calm slab here. <laughs> Excuse me, let's see if... Uh... Mm -hmm. En enclosures, right, of course. So, you see what they did there? Those are enclosures on top of the wall, right? And Amos, see, here's your, uh, there's your columns, your steel columns, right? Nothing, nothing wrong with sharing a, sharing a meal with a fox. Yeah! Woohoo! So watch, watch with this, watch this. This stuff is really cool. Really, really, really cool stuff. And you guys know too, like if you're if you're building walls and there's no like ceiling, right? Uh, you you can build walls off of walls, like you just brace them across the top. You know, look, Hilti baby, go Hilti, yeah. Only the best, the Hilti bag in the back there. Yeah, go Hilti or go home, baby. When you're working with steel, and you know, yeah, when you're a steel guy, Hilti's the only product. <laughs> So yeah. <coughs> Look, in goes the rebar. Rebar, right? They're gonna fill it with concrete, right? And it's pretty easy to install. <laughs> it's pretty easy to install. Those windows are rad, I like doing that. <clears throat> There's a vibrator. Yep, had a bowl of feathers with strawberry milk for breakfast. Oh, gross. <laughs> Look at these things, man. These things are wild, eh? Has anybody here uh, used one of these? <clears throat> I thought that would be really fun. But cool product, right? Calm floor. So this is composite floor deck. So calm floor. Uh, yeah, composite is just the normal Q deck. Oh, look at. Oh, this is. Is this one with the air vents? You can. Yeah, you can get them that are. They're vented, right? Well, as well. And that's another system that you gotta do, right? It is, um, the vented ones are, uh, insulated, I believe, and, yeah, man, there's, there's, so, there's a few different systems that you can go with, um, <clears throat> ow, motherfucker. So, oh, you know what I should show you is demonstrate. Let's see if I can find, um, uh, demonstrate, uh, or, um, wait a minute. Structural steel, um, shoot, shoot. How would I word this? That, uh, um, Maybe designs. (laughs) 
So, these are like pre-inch buildings right here. When you see something like this, they'll they'll like um, they'll uh, use it's like a a sheet roll like a like a roll of insulation, you know, and uh, metal uh, cladding that go over top of it. It's like standing seam cladding will uh, go on top uh, but yeah it's like a roll and it has like a, a white really really thick uh, white um, side like you could wash it almost and uh, it ha has um, insulation on the other right uh, I'm trying to think here if it has two sides I like haven't used it in a while. But yeah, you basically just roll it on and then add the cladding on, on top, right? Be a, like a commercial or, I don't know, like good for shops or whatever, warehouses and things like that, right? But um, I want to see if I can find something really yeah, that's very typical, but... What the fuck is that? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> See, these are deflection clips right here. And those are wind-loaded studs, right? Um, but yeah, and these are deflection clips. I love, uh, I love that drawing. It's not gonna work. That is not gonna work. <laughs> or wait, is that an I beam? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the bottom of the I beam. Yeah, yeah. That'll work. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So you see where I where I like to put them, right in the between. You know, every four feet. But sometimes you don't have four feet, right? These uh, are are shot, and this is your parapet up here, right? So the tops are gonna be uh, you're gonna have to have the tops good. So you, we I, every time I've done something like this, if I, it's a drop one with a big windows and things like that, you just um, run like string lines, you know, so you know your your depth, and uh, yeah, then you have your lasers for shooting your, um, your you know your front plane there. Make sure everything's uh, level. It's more ducklings. Aw. Aw, no way. Yeah, that sucks, Amos. Cheerios, he says. I just saw that. Uh, a uh, jelly man. give you very good examples honestly okay here's something of course it's tiny come on give me something good Steel stud house guy. Yeah. <laughs> Steel stud house. <clears throat> that is so dope. I wouldn't go that far, I don't think. I would why do it why does why build a house typical, you know? Oh 
Oh, damn. <clears throat> That'd be insane, man. I don't know why they don't build houses out of steel, man. I don't know. I just don't know, man. I'm going to. Yeah, like this is cool, right? This is what I mean. Like, so their structural steel goes on the inside of that, right? And I, I was trying to think, like, Amos, your shed, you're gonna, you want the, uh, you want the steel on the inside, though, <laughs> you know? So you're gonna do the opposite. <laughs> So there's always funky shit you gotta cover. You gotta watch every little. It's all these little tiny, like the ends and little things. Like it's gonna screw you up, you know. You gotta change your layouts and shift and make sure everything is good, you know. Holy shit! Whoa! Uh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? I gotta see that. Pictures suck, man. Multi gauge building. They don't even they don't even enlarge. Pre-engineered. These are pre-engineered buildings. This is what I mean. This is like the last one I just did was a pre-engineered. And on this picture here, you see the white stuff. That's the back of the insulation that I'm talking about. It's the ro it's rolling, and this is what I mean. Like it's just dry, like storage, right? Like dry storage, basically. You know, made with all these purlins going across the. You know, they're purlins. Single stroke? What? Mm. I think that's um. I want to. I want to. I want to type in uh, multi-gauge building. I thought there was some weird, weird names there too, but whatever, man, whatever. <laughs> might be a short stream today, boys. I might, uh, we're going to hang out. Yeah, it looks like it's just us boys here, so I'll hang out for a few minutes and uh, I'm going to finish this doobie with you and I'm going to probably shut her down early. You know that? Uh, yeah. Day 29, Lita. Tomorrow, tomorrow uh, will be the last day. Man, oh man, I can't believe it. I really can't believe it, man. Motherfucker. Okay. Yeah, I was. I found the mistake uh, with the audio. I know what was killing it. So every time I was hitting an audio button, it was canceling it because I I had um, mic 
Oh yeah, you know it, Amos. Yeah, we're gonna smoke a big fat one. I think tomorrow night's title is gonna be Day 30 Lita, that's it. <laughs> you know? And then, yeah, that's it. I was saying, like, I got this, uh, this conference this weekend. And uh, I'm going to, uh, um, yeah, start planning content. Doing a lot of planning, and I and I have, like I say in those videos too, I started writing. You know, um, I, I got want to shoot some videos, and oh man, oh man, there's so much to do, and no time to do it. You know, so um, yeah, 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 yeah. People have video conference this weekend. So that's going to be cool. I'm looking forward to that. That almost looks pretty clean just like that. <clears throat> the guys are coming to install a faster internet line tomorrow. So we're going to have double the speed. That's going to be cool, man. Looking forward to that. So, yeah, boy. <laughs> how's everybody doing with the whole, uh, you know, how's everybody doing anyway? How are you guys doing? Holding it down. What are you, what, uh, you working on, Jason? I haven't seen anybody from Team Smoking in a few streams. Hey, Jelly Man! Yeah, dude. I kind of thought you were still here. I could tell. I could tell you were still here, man. <laughs> I'm just chilling, getting lifted. Nice. Nice. Babysitting. Yeah, man, that's basically all we're doing too. Babysitting, babysitting, babysitting. It's non-stop right now. It's, uh, yeah, babysitting. Kids are just, yeah, they're not in school. It's crazy, man. No, no daycare, no school. Fuck, man. It's insane, man. This shit's insane, yo. I don't even know if we're winning or not. <laughs> I think we are. Last I heard we were winning. You know. Mm. Oh, that's so good. So good. The jelly man. <laughs> I love it. Um What was I gonna do again? Shit, I forgot what I was gonna do. Are you, are you serious, man? There's no way. Oh, yeah, I remember now. I was gonna say, uh, oh yeah. Oh, baby, let's see if I can get any, uh, Let's see if I can get something new. Yeah, let's see if there's anything new on like Construct Connect blog. It's all about the fucking virus, you know? So. Yeah, okay, so new cases every day. Death toll continues to rise. Almost every state currently has a shelter in place or stay home in order. Yeah, of course, programs for firms. We want to know about programs to for workers, you know? 
crazy. Yeah, brother. Yeah, I know I'm shutting her down here soon anyways. Um, but yeah, dude, appreciate it. Oh. Yeah, I hear you, man. Word, dude. That's how it's done, man. That's how it's done, Jason. You know? That's how it's done, man. You gotta, you gotta walk to my... Oh, you're not a big fan of Justina? You don't like her? Oh, man. I thought she was fire, man. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So, uh, you can get a reports uh, and projects right now. You're not a fan of Justina? No? Yeah, we talked all about this stuff. Should all construction be... You know who you might like? Uh, do you like... I don't know. But I like... Uh, Mac Miller. Yeah, yeah. Is construction essential? No, it depends on what kind of construction it is. You know, but not all construction is essential. Uh, how do you figure that... You know, like every business is, it would be essential if construction businesses were, because that's the, basically their argument, right? Um, it all feeds the economy, so everyone has a role in the economy. So <laughs> construction, it doesn't drive the whole economy, right? So I wish I could get a radio license, you know? Yeah, later, buddy. Later, Jason. Oh, look at that. Billions authorized for military base projects in many states. Check this out. Uh, looking for a massive funding document that describes hundreds of upcoming opportunities? Look no further than the National Defense Authorization Act, NDAA, document that President Trump signed on December 21st. Uh, I don't know. I watch her YouTube videos. You know, Jason, I watch her on YouTube and I watch her. Um, I don't, I don't listen to her albums. I listen to her on, on YouTube because I, I like to watch her. I like to look at her. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And on like Instagram, she's got TikTok. I don't know. I follow her on almost everything. <laughs> so... Let's see here. What would it be? Check this out. So for 50, 59 years, there has been an uh, NDAA appropriations document, but never has there been one this large. Tits. That's tits. 2020 budget for the defense is $738 billion. An increase of 20... That's only $22 billion more. $738 billion. Wow. Uh, over the 2019 budget, the, uh, this bill authorizes FY 2020 appropriations and sets forth policies for Department of Defense programs and activities. Um, the document outlines planned short-term spending, you know, so man, oh man. The North Carolina, let's get, jump down to Texas. Uh, Jason's still here. Funding for bases in Texas includes energy projects with... Uh, 16 and a half million directed to Fort Hood for construction of a new central energy plant and four and a half million going to Camp Swift to enhance its uh, microgrid. Uh, Fort Hood also will receive 18 and a half million for a new vehicle bridge and 32 million for soldier barracks. Uh, the joint base San Antonio will receive 207 million dollars for modernized training facilities and air traffic control tower, new barracks, a dining facility, an aquatics tank, and Air Force Personnel Center B Wing. Holy fuck! Uh, the Corpus Christi Army Depot will get 86 million for a new powertrain facility, and funds will be allocated to expand an infrastructure investment program to include federal aviation administration licensed spaceports including houston spaceport <laughs> wow yeah technology and cybersecurity funding has also been allocated for technology related projects 
Cyber reviews will be mandated every four years and quarterly reviews will be performed on cyber mission force readiness. These steps will allow the DOD to speed up its procurement processes for software updates. Hold on, this is crazy. Uh, so pilot programs costing 275 million will be performed at four military bases this year. These projects are related to integrating high-speed 5G wireless connectivity. Uh, okay, Hill Air Force Base in Utah will experiment with spectrum sharing. Uh, McCord Air Force Base in Washington will use 5G to enable virtual reality training. And Naval Base San Diego and the Marine Corps Logistics Base in Georgia will test 5G connectivity. Holy shit. Spectrum sharing. Crazy. Crazy. That's a lot of dope. Yeah, yeah, 5G, yeah. So, spectrum sharing is a way to optimize the use of the airwaves or wireless communications channels by enabling multiple categories of users to safely share the same frequency bands. Spectrum sharing is necessary because growing demand is crowding the airwaves. Smartphones, the, far, the, smart, smartphones, the Internet of Things, military and public safety radios, wearable devices, smart vehicles, and countless other devices all depend on the same wireless bands of the electromagnetic spectrum to share data, voice, and images. <laughs> wow, is, look at that. Oh, neat. That is neat. That is neat. Sorry, but that's pretty neat. Uh, so, that's all for the military drones. Yeah, 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 right? Wow. Wow. I uh, didn't see anything in uh, LA or California. Oh yeah, no, California, yeah, here, duh. What an idiot. Funding for projects at Camp uh, Pendleton includes a new mess hall and a warehouse with costs a, a $71.7 .7 million mess hall and warehouse? Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. That's, that's going to be a big, big warehouse or a big uh, mess hall. Man, five-star kitchen. <laughs> An information center project is budgeted for 38.87 million and the replacement of an ambulatory ambulatory care uh, center and dental clinic uh, has cost projected at 17.7 million. Fuck. Base officials plan to break ground on some projects in 2020. And another 2.65 million has been allocated to dredge Oceanside Harbor. So, wow, eh? Well, there's some money being put back in the system, you know? There's, there's boots on the ground, there's food on the table, you know? Guys are getting paid. Uh, I done some, uh, I did I did some work in the air base up north, which is nice, which was cool. I like working up north in Cold Lake, uh, the just because all the jets, you know, that's where the air base is, you know. Um, and like every hour, there's jets flying by. It's awesome, it's so awesome, right? I love I love that place. I've been up there in ages, man. See what's up in the Midwest for Mr. Jet. Uh... Oh, look at that! Burke indictment shows that Chicago Way is still alive. Alderman Ed Burke, 75, the longtime chairman of the Chicago City Council's powerful finance committee, 
was indicted June 4th on 14 counts of racketeering, uh, attempted extortion, conspiracy, and attempting to use interstate commerce to facilitate unlawful activity. <laughs> 75 years old. Yeah, they do that. They just they do that because the new guy's ready to go in, right? So Alderman Ed Burke, wow. A 59 page indictment. <laughs> wow, for decades Ed Burke enriched himself and controlled a mighty city through power and intimidation, she says. His many conflicts were an open secret. Thank goodness that the FBI cannot be intimidated. Many, many council members serve honestly to help their committees. I'm glad his heel has been lifted from their proceedings and that Chicago commissioners no longer have to deal with his demands. <laughs> wow. Yep. And that's where the, the like the corrupt corruption and construction starts, right? Is up there, you know, it's at the top, you know, it's crazy. It's all these oh man oh man. Look at that, Kurt Turner. Turner still got the number one spot. Holy shit. Uh, so two trillion, the Turner is worth $2.7 trillion. Clayco. Uh, Chicago again. So look, Turner's in Chicago. This guy, who was just indicted from Chicago, right? Turner Construction's from Chicago. Clayco, the second one on the list is from Chicago, okay? Like, wow, and those numbers are staggeringly higher than the third place. Like, look, look at that. Look at the difference, man. Oh yeah. I love the Jets, man. I can look at Jets any day. Oh, do they have new Mavic? Uh, do they have a new Mavic Air? Oh, I don't know. Let's check. <clears throat> the Mavic Air 2. Chicago all over again, yep. Man, I would love to get some of these things. Look at that, the Maverick Pro, Pro Platinum. Maverick, Maverick Pro Platinum. Woohoo, baby! Look at that, baby. Four decibels of noise reduction. Wow. Uh, from uh, eleven fifty, so one thousand one hundred and fifty dollars U.S. Uh, uh, Thirty minutes of flight time. Look at they got robos, robots. Four K sixty frames a second. Four megapixel photo. Uh, panorama. Eight K hyperlapse quick shots. Thirty four minutes. Uh. Wow. 
Wow. Nice, nice. No, four four K sixty frames a second. Uh I put up See right there? Four K sixty frames per second. Mm. Yeah, that's so cool, buddy. Quad Bayer Image Sensor. <sighs> Fuck, all in the details. Half inch CMOS sensor. Oh, cool. You got your uncle and his officers? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool, Lamos. I would love to see that. Sub, uh, submarines being built. I would love that. I love that. I like seeing things built, you know? Like, it almost doesn't even matter what it is, you know? I like seeing that shit. I like seeing cars built. I like seeing freaking anything being built. I like seeing how things work, you know? Um, it just, I just, my, my things are, you know, like, building structures and stuff you know uh, um, I can build like computers and tech put things together you know but um, yeah like I, I love seeing things come together you know I just man well wow, that's a uh, panoramic right advanced panorama mode with higher dynamic range uh, color that's amazing look that is an amazing picture cool like look at the controller see that controller holy cow i bet they do welders just in general get paid oh man man the shit you can do now with drones like and, and feature films and stuff like that. It's amazing. You had to you had to do this with helicopters before, you know. Now you just do it with a drone. It's insane. Active track, active track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the cool thing. POI. Yeah, point of interest. Yeah. Oh man, that is fucking dope. That's really handy. That's the 8K hyperlapse. Let's look. I'm gonna look up to see what the uh, see what the pages are what they're getting paid to Amos. Damn, that's just amazing, amazing. Could you imagine spending like? Uh, like say you spent uh, eleven, twelve hundred dollars on a drone and then flying it out like that. You know, wow! You, I would be afraid to crash it, man. Yeah, yeah, like right. Oh man, the money shot. To get the <laughs> yeah, you almost right. Get the drone that you can control with your mind. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, that's beautiful footage. All right, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jellyman. Yeah, buddy. Thanks for coming, dude. I want to see what the MSRP is on this bugger. Fuck, that's amazing. Like, look at that. Fly safer. Oh, it perceives its environment in three directions. Cool. Oh, wow. I love it. I love it. Oh, man. 
ND filters, ND filters even. Fuck me. Only 800 bucks, 800 bucks for the Mavic Air 2. So the Platinum is more money than that. Cool. Uh, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so with any shortage you uh, expect costs to rise. It's simple economics. If something in, uh, is in demand and there's not enough to go around, consumers can expect to pay more than what they might have had to pay when demand was less more available. That's le left more than a few welders scratching their heads over the past several years as the industry continually beats the drums of a shortage of workers. The American Welding Society believes that the U.S. industry will have a shortage of more than 450,000 skilled welders by 2022. That's quite a shortage. The Bureau of Labor Statistics reports that almost 425,000 welding jobs exist in 2018. In fact, someone might look at it as a moment when wages should be increasing in anticipation of this epic shortfall. Bye, Jelly Man. Bye, buddy. So, exaggerating the situation are talking heads and the internet. Uh, listen to enough people, and you might think the starting salary for a welder is 40 grand. That amount is thrown around quite a bit, but it's really the median salary. The BLS reports that 2018 median salary for welders was 41380 per year. The median average means that 50% of the welders in the U.S. made less than that and 50% made more. Then you have an editorial headlined, Welders Make $150,000, Bring Back Shop Class. That appeared in the Wall Street Journal in April... Oh, this is fucked up. Wait a minute. Oh, April 2014 or whatever. Okay. And it lives on as propaganda to entice young people to enter the welder ranks, even if the focus was on the type of welder and his specific skill set. And let's not forget anyone that happens uh, to type underwater welder sa salary into an internet search engine. If an underwater welder can make 300 grand in a year, Surely a welder on terra firma can make half that, right? Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> Underwater welder, that's that's like my uncle was one of them guys. Oh man. Yeah, man, they made make serious dough, yeah. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, and and man, like everything's messed up too. Like, uh, the more the more things that are built in factories too. Like, you know, they're like they can they they can train people to to do certain things. You know, for for less money. It's just yeah, it's just crazy. I don't know. It's a crazy. It's a crazy. Uh, so.
Oh, look at that. That's interesting. So that's December 2013. And that's the thing, like, dude, Amos, like, at the, the, like, the trade shows, you go to the manufacturing trade shows, and, uh, I would say, you know, th quite a few machines are, okay, so, <clears throat> are welding machines, are welding robots, okay? Uh, welding robots, uh, steel brake forms, um, are, like, lays, lays, Automatic lathes, um, uh, 3D printers are starting to come into the picture, uh, but yeah, like robot welders and uh, yeah, uh, brake forms are like the popular, most popular thing. You know what I mean, jelly bean. All right, man, I'm starting to feel it. I'm like lose. I'm like tired as hell right now. Um, I need to take a break big time but tomorrow night we're gonna celebrate the last day of lita guys <laughs> wow man wow wow but yeah i'm gonna start to wrap up i appreciate you hanging amos that's awesome man killing up the stream and uh, we got uh, six viewers right now, so whoever's watching, I appreciate you watching and hope you guys guys you know chilled and what the best map of the moon came out today? Space mining, yeah, dude, space mining, man. Oh, I gotta look at that now. Yeah, last kingdom time, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Last kingdom time, man. Yeah, yeah. Can't believe it. Oh man, shit was crashing hard today. Uh, man, I got booted up the last minute. Just got everything kind of working and lost audio at least once. <laughs> I think we lost audio twice. <laughs> One at the right at the start of the stream. And I think two times during the stream, we lost audio. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, Yangles. Yeah. Uh, let's take a quick peeky poo. Before we wrap up, I want to take a peek at that <laughs> map of the moon. Top stories, yeah, man. something man 
That is something. Wow. NASA doesn't have a NASA.com. <laughs> Look at that. <clears throat> uh, China's lunar rover has found something weird on the far side of the moon, the dark side. Hey, Red Man, Brother Man, look at that. Oh, one more night and I don't have to live stream anymore. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, I'll be live streaming. I'll be live streaming. I'm going to go, uh, but I'm going to take two days off a week. <laughs> and I wonder, like, I wonder if I would take two off. Of, no, yeah, two off in a row is good. No, no thanks. Does it sh show anything interesting? Or just the freaking things. How's it going, bro? Okay, so what is it? NASA.gov. Oh, right, right, okay. Nice! I love, oh, of course, space. I was always fascinated with space, of course, you know? Um. found some stuff too look at these missions Juno oh man I gotta check this out oh crying out loud <laughs> moon woohoo <laughs> me likey sp yeah space is awesome It's weird, eh, Ren? Yeah. Um, I know it is weird. I, I am, I've been, I've been seriously isolated at the house. I don't go too far away very often, but yeah, when I do, it's very fucking weird out there. Um, strange seeing it, right? The, the like, it's really strange seeing it, um, like it is right now, like abandoned, you know, like ghostly ghost towns, you know. Um, yeah, it's very, 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 it's chilling. It really is chilling almost, you know? Man, I love it. But these guys aren't very good at sharing, uh, sharing. Is there, is there really Amos? I see, I gotta look in more. Mm. 
here we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, now everything has like glass partitions and fuck, there's a lot of crazy shit going on right now. It's fucked up, man. It's really messed up, man. I, I really, I hope they go back to normal. I do. I really, really fucking hope they go back to normal. This is crazy times, man. Like, um, yeah, it's a big deal. It's a really big deal. Uh, this is the longest thing. I mean, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen, man, in my whole life. Fucking, I hate this. I hate that I, I hate that I don't fucking, I don't trust, like, it's, I, I don't, I hate that I don't trust government. I don't trust, like, people uh, in power, and I don't trust anything, unless I know, you know, like, I, I just, you know, I try to try to not to think about it, and um, you know, but shit makes me nervous, man. You know, it really does. If I'm being honest, you know, uh, shit makes me nervous, man. I hate the every time some shit happens, they always find a reason to um, you know take advantage of it. Like look what look what happened after 9/11. Okay, like look what happened after that fucking shit changed man and now this you know like it, it just seems pretty convenient for the government that the shit keeps happening and and like you know they're you know <laughs> it's i don't know i don't know what to say about it i just hope it fucking ends soon and then yeah yeah <laughs> you know Yeah, I know, man, and uh, I've heard lots of that. Um, places, you know, putting fines and things like that to people who are uh, out and about, you know, or not wearing masks when they're out. Like, fuck off, man. Give me a fucking break. God, fucking cops nowadays are only good for one thing, okay? Nuts fucking making tickets that's all they fucking do is write tickets so you know they're petty crimes officers is what they are nowadays they're not fucking cops anymore they're fucking ticket writers that's it man it's fucking bullshit we went back we went from the corrupt cops back in the day who stole and sold drugs and guns and extorted and fucking did all kinds of bad shit to a bunch of punks running around writing tickets. <laughs> what the fuck's the difference, man? We don't wear we don't really wear we don't wear them here. We don't have to wear them here and you see people wearing them, but not 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 very often. You don't see a lot of people, but you don't. There's also not a lot of people out either, uh, and everybody's very distanced from each other. And yeah, man. Yeah, someone's getting rich, uh, and that's the that is right, right? And it's just the sad reality of it, you know. And, uh, <clears throat> um. I just hope they don't fucking use it to... <sighs> yeah, I can't say a word. I don't think masks are going to be man like mandatory forever. But, um... It's fucking... Uh, I don't know, man. Like, like, think about back in... It's always fucking something. It's always fucking something, okay? When, when my dad was a kid, they were always threatening nuclear bombs. Nuclear war. Right? And then fucking they're always scare tactics. Scare. Keep the people fucking scared and obedient. <clears throat> you know? Know how it works. I know how the fucking system works. I know what's going on. I ain't no fucking idiot. You know? I, I can see what you clowns are doing. You know? It's just fucked up that uh, everyone else, you know, like a lot of people can't, you know? Everything's muffled. Like right now, my 
when people are wearing masks, it's muffled, or what I'm saying right now is muffled. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I could, I could be slurring a little bit right now, but... They are the biggest gang, absolutely, yeah. There's no fucking doubt about it, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's sad. Like, guys, like, I, like, you guys, you, I don't know, like, I've been through, the, I've been, I was arrested a lot. Well, I've been in jail, I've been through courts and dealt with lawyers and judges and bails and probation officers and fucking breaching bail, breaching recognizance and breaching fucking probations and all this fucking shit i've been trapped i trapped in the system for 10 years man and fucking uh people are trapped in it a lot longer than that but i was smart enough to get the fuck out of dodge and get my ass out west so like you know the people who fucking were uh, always harassing me would leave me the fuck alone I was never, I was never the person they painted me as. Never once was I like even close to the person they painted me as, you know. And I just got fucking sick of it, you know. Just got fucking sick of it. I know, and I'm glad I came out here, man. At least I'm able to start a new life and live a real life, you know. But fuck, man, when they got you in your fucking fucking claws, it's really hard to get out, you know. Yeah, like, dude, fourth page. Yeah, like four pages. Okay. And, and fucking uh, only one page of it is charges and three of it is all breaches, right? One page of charges and three pages of breaches, I bet. I don't know. Oh, fucking man. Oh, man. It's fucking so bad. It's so fucked up, man. It's a fucked up fucking system, man. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's cool too. Like the cops out here are pretty cool, you know, they're, they're like, yeah, they, they know that they know the like the cops in Ontario, like I, I can't, you know, they kind of want me for breaching my probation, skipping town and all, but the, the cops out here are pretty cool. Uh, they don't bug, they, they're like, yeah, a lot of people come out here to, to get away and start new lives and, and escape that. So we understand. And it's cool. I think that was fucking cool. Uh, cops here are really different. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just it's a fucked up system. They they do write a lot of tickets here. They write a lot of tickets here. <laughs> Lots of tickets. They got fucking cameras everywhere and fucking oh man, they write a lot of tickets, man. <laughs> you know. But uh, in the long run, though, I don't, I don't speed anymore. I don't, you know, I don't I don't break any traffic laws. I don't do anything, man. I and I don't get any tickets. It's simple as that, you know? Uh, but yeah, I used to be quite a rebel, you know? Fucking, I didn't give a fuck, right? I'd speed and all kinds of shit. And, um, but yeah, it's, it's weird when you start having kids, you know? Um, we get trapped in that system, you know? As soon as you have kids, you're, you know, now now your, your life is valuable. You know, now you need to live. You need to look like, you know, you need to uh, support kids and shit, right? Oh, I've outrun cops before. I've outrun. I've I've outrun them before. Trust me, man. Um, yeah, I, I've outrun them on fucking dirt and on and on pavement. So yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, I in fact, uh, in all my chases on foot or in, on or in a motorized vehicle, never once have I been caught. I always got away. Every single time uh, I got into a chase, I got away. Never once I ever got fucking caught and. I got in some crazy, crazy chases, crazy chases, man, crazy. But yeah, always got away, always got away. The only reason why I ever got caught is if somebody ratted me out. <laughs> always somebody fucking ratting you out, you know. So it is what it is, man. Not giving it out to pay tickets, <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Hey, Jason's back up in the house. Man, what's up, dude? <laughs> I once escaped from the jail at the police station, and that was over one sheet of charges when they called me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that it would be. Yeah, that would do <laughs> that would do a page. <laughs> yeah, so okay, my my older brother. You'll get it. My older brother's uh, record is over 60 pages. And that that was um that was back when i was uh i was 18 
um, and I paid a cop to give to tell me the, his record. I wanted to know what his what his record was, and I so and he's like looking through pages. And he's like, uh, man, he's like, I can you don't really want to you know there's too much information here you want i can tell you what it's mainly for right but he spent uh he spent some time in like in like a really really bad penitentiary here in canada probably the most ruthless fucking hole you could think of and um yeah he's a fuck he's just uh he, i don't know man he's crazy now he's like in and out of a mental hospital i guess like he doesn't have his mind with him anymore you know uh, so yeah, I don't know fucking yeah, he, he, uh, he was he was a he was a jailbird like he lived in jail, so <laughs> mm -hmm. Rats get bats and stitches get stitches. Yeah, like yeah, man Yeah, like the code of the street is yeah, you'll get yours, you know, and it's it's there There is a certain old-school thing about the way about things, you know, and it's called the actual true definition behind sweet revenge um that's all I'm gonna say, right? That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm too pretty. Yeah, I was too pretty to go to jail too. But you know, you just go in there and you, you know, you you fight with the biggest guy in there. No joke. And that's always seemed to work. <laughs> and that was honestly by accident. That that I didn't even mean it. <laughs> oh man, I was. I the funny thing is too, because when I was younger. Uh, the jail, there was a, the one jail I was always going to, and I knew the guards, and um, I used to work at a local theater and stuff like that, and, I, and the guards there ha were in a band, they had a band, and I used to set their equipment up, stuff like that, so I knew the guards uh, at the jail um, from various things, right, I, all, I knew them all, so, I don't know, it was pretty, it was pretty easy going, you know, back then you could smoke. Uh, but yeah, it, once I got a little bit older, uh, things got a little more crazy, you know, uh, bigger, bigger institutions and, uh, so yeah, <laughs> not knowing any guards and things like that. Um, yeah, it was, it was different, you know, and fucking living in like the big bubble, you know, the, the, and you got like the, uh, there's like a, a bubble, we call it the bubble where there's, uh, a, a control center in the middle and then there's all the ranges around the control center and there's glass the whole front wall is glass okay they can see everything in through there uh, the only little wall inside is like where the piers are and that's where everyone cr crouches down and smokes if the doors are locked you know um, they would roll uh, toilet paper up, you know, uh, with to with uh, the, the, the shitty deodorant they give you and you'd wax the toilet paper right up and light it and that would be the wick, right? So you only have to waste one match or one flick of a lighter to get the bathroom started and the wicks would burn all day and they would light everyone's smokes and joints, right? So, yeah, get it right, QC on the straight and narrow. <laughs> uh, got to always trap them rats, absolutely, yeah. Fuck that shit, right? Um, man, oh man, I, I there was, there was uh, this one uh, I, I, there was this one incident and there was, uh, God, Jesus, there was like 60 different people that fucking rolled over and, and, or not all of them rolled over, but some of them were just general people, and, but acted as a witness. There was like over 60 witnesses in one, in one instance. Um, but I'm not that fucking stupid. Okay. I was still able to beat it. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, that was a indictable offense. They were gonna, they were looking for 25 years, and I got uh, two years probation. So, yeah, that go so much for your 60 fucking three witnesses. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, they hated me. They did, um, but I wasn't a bad guy. I didn't do anything bad. I didn't, I didn't hurt people. That wasn't my thing. You know, like, yeah, okay, I'd fight. If you fought me, I'd fight you back. That's it. Okay, I never went and, you know, uh, uh, you know, I wasn't like that. <laughs> hockey rinks <laughs> oh yeah for sure they got hockey rinks man for sure they do <laughs> that's fucking funny man thirty three hundred bucks yeah 
That's funny. Yeah, I think I, I think I owe the fuckers like uh, some money too right now for something. Do I owe them bastards some money right now? I think I do. I think I owe them some money for something too right now. Uh, probably like an old, uh, an old thing. I think I have to. It came due, and I have to pay. Fuck or something like. I think I do owe them money, bastards. Oh yeah. Yeah, when you don't show up for court and they uh, issue a bench warrant, yeah, that's that sucks. Uh, I remember going to court on the day after I was supposed to. I'm like, where the fuck is everybody? And I go to the I go to the guy and I'm like, dudes, I'm I'm like, I swear I had it written down like it was this day I was supposed to be here. And no, you were supposed to be here yesterday. I'm like, you're gonna be fucking kidding me, right? Nope, landed me another fucking 30 days. <laughs> 30 days in jail for uh, because I went on the day after. Fuck me. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Uh, here in Canada, or it's different. Like the, uh, like it kind of depends, province to province, almost, but. Uh, if the car is registered and certified and everything in province, it doesn't never have to be inspected again. Only if it leaves province does it have to be inspected again. Uh, as long as it stays in province and it doesn't have to be inspected. But if you're in Ontario though, I think they have inspections, you know? Oh, absolutely, Amos. Yeah, man. Fuck, dude. I know. And, and that's the thing. Like, I'm like, you know what? I don't give a fuck. I was like, give me a fucking... Get, put me in jail. Let them fuckers pay for it. I don't give a fuck. Jail doesn't bother me at all. Not one bit. If it's if I'm just in there to pay a fucking fine off, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, I really don't care, you know? Uh, but um, I would fucking do it. I'd sit there. Oh, man. This is Club fucking Med, man. These guys are cooking for me and shit. And it's fucking quiet, man. I'm going to listen to fucking shit. Fuck yeah, man! I'll do I'll do a month for fucking uh, you know a couple grand's worth of fine or whatever. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'll do it, <laughs> right? Uh, I don't think the wife would appreciate it, but fuck, I would I'd do it just to just to prove a point, right? Fuck you guys, man! <laughs> you know, like you know, how does this how does this make any sense? Throwing guys in jail for not paying fines and shit, right? <laughs> oh no way! Oh wow, Ren, that's cr yeah, yeah. The the um, the police in the in the U.S. are I hear are fucking ruthless, like ruthless, brutal, man. Like I hear bad things about the cops in the states. So I I don't don't very I don't think I ever hear anything good about them. So and I, and I talking about Canadians who went down there and had experiences with them. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it all being privatized and stuff. There's quotas and uh, there's quotas for everything now. There's even quotas for how many tickets they write you, right? So. I know. <laughs> yeah. Jason, I get, I know, I get it, man. I know, I know, man. I know, right? It's crazy, dude. So it's actually, real, it's crazy. Let me see. Wait till that comes up. I'll pop, 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 pop it up. Woo! Wee! All right, guys. I'm gonna uh, shut her down. But good talk. Fuck, we went over two hours again. So. That's good. <laughs> oh man, man. Good talk though, man. Good talk. Good venting session. Good venting session, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. <laughs> this is my therapy, man. This is my therapy right here. Love it, guys. All right, guys. Seriously, I, I gotta go. Uh, but it's been a good night. It's been a good night. Good nighty, Chris Hansen. Yeah, man. 
yeah, I'm definitely shutting. I know I'm, I'm shutting here down now for sure. Cause now I gotta pee. So it's time to go. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, stay out of jail, right? Stay out of jail, everybody. <laughs> yeah, jail. Uh, jail sucks. You know, it does. There's no doubt about that. It's really weird, man. Like they. The way it is now, like, fuck, man. When I first started going to jail, it was like, yeah, man, we cook meals, you know. You uh, you had, like, when you had breakfast, with sausage and eggs and fucking, you know, like, meals, you know. And then uh, to, like, packaged microwave meals, you know, like, in little bags. Like, it's, it's just like, yeah, it doesn't even feed a, uh, doesn't feed a freaking uh, dwarf, man. Can't cage this bird. Yeah, bitches. <laughs> right on, man. <laughs> nice. Don't have 3,300 bucks. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, uh, fuck. I, I, and too, with the money I owe, too, is a funny story, too. But <laughs> that's for another time. <laughs> All right, boys. Uh, where are we at in the music here? Let me check. Let's see, we we'll play it. We'll play out uh, the a song, and that'll be that. That'll be that. That'll be that. Oh yeah, here we go, baby. Have a good night, everybody. Don't get pulled over, Jason. Yes, don't get pulled over. <laughs> right on, boys. Have a great night. Uh, we'll be here again tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Same bad time, same bad place. Fucking wrong, wrong, wrong. Same bad time, same bad place. I'm bad man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm bad. Right here, construction cronies tomorrow night. Day 30. Day fucking 30. Finally, day 30. Alita. Live every day, April. Uh, that will be 56. 56 live streams in 60 days wrapped up. And we're going to go to five days a week. Two days off. And yeah, it'll be a party, boys. <laughs> All right, Amos, Redman, Jason, Chris, Hanson. Uh, anyone else hanging out? I think that's it. Chris, Ren, Jason, Amos, boys. Till next time. Peace.